It's the Paul Leslie Hour with a review of the fourth Republican primary debate on News Nation December 6, 2023. Oh boy. This GOP debate held in Alabama and broadcast by News Nation was by far the most provocative and entertaining of the four. I'm liking News Nation, which attempts to be in the middle. The three moderators, Megyn Kelly, Elizabeth Vargas, and Eliana Johnson, were infinitely more suitable than the previous ones. They did a good job. I wish I could say the same for all the candidates. I'll tell you how they did from worst to best. Of course, the front runner, 45th President Donald J. Trump, decided not to attend yet again. It's understandable. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. He'd get publicity without participation. What do you know? The first question was about Trump. Okay, let's get to it. Governor Christie needs to drop out. Right away, he let it be known that he was the hall monitor. In an act of desperation, he scolded everyone for not following the rules. He's drowning in irrelevance. Christie even tried to play the gentleman card and stand up for Nikki Haley. His attempt at chivalry made me chuckle. I'm sure he'd be a great guy to grab wings with, but as a candidate, all Christie could do was whine about Trump. Speaking of Nikki Haley, she was barely ahead of Chris Christie. Her hypocrisy was exposed, and although she's talked a big game, her words seemed thinner and thinner. At least she's finally stopped reminding us every few minutes that she's a woman. She was at a loss for words more than once. There are a lot of voters who want to leave the identity politics at the curb. Now that she's been advised to stop talking about her heels, you may be left wondering if Nikki Haley has anything to separate her from the oodles of other self-serving politicians in this country. Come on, we all know the answer. Ronald DeSantis played it smart. He came in second. He seemed to be improving in his debate skills. That said, I think he performs best when he's debating someone on the left. DeSantis did better against Gavin Newsom than he did tonight. It was clever of him to stay quiet as Haley Christie and Ramaswamy sparred over Ukraine. Why not let your opponents tear each other apart? Coming in first. Although he can be aggressive at times, Vivek Ramaswamy seemed to be the most on top during this debate. He called Haley on her constant use of identity politics, something she really can't refute. He didn't stumble and communicated policies well. Ramaswamy is the most unique candidate and brings the most divergent ideas. It makes sense. He's not a classic politician. Conclusion Chris Christie and Nikki Haley are both trying to preach to Americans what they should think about Trump. But here's the thing. Everyone has already made up their mind. And it brings to mind the inevitable question now that the final 2023 Republican primary debate is over. We return to the candidate who is not there, Donald J. Trump. Did this debate move the needle at all? Did any of these debates cut into Trump's lead? I think not. I think you know that too.